The Apprenticeship of the Year competition celebrates excellence in plumbing apprenticeship training across Western Australia. We pride ourselves on our deep connection to industry and our training that is responsive to industry needs. Events like this couldn't happen without the very generous support of our sponsors. MPA Skills would like to give a very special thank you though to the major sponsor of this event, Galvin's Plumbing Supplies, for their continued support not only of this event, but of MPA Skills and the plumbing industry across Western Australia. Plumbing Apprentice of the Year is a great competition and something Galvin's are proud to be a long time supporter of. It's great to see such a wide representation from a wide range of plumbing companies. I just want to congratulate the 12 finalists for making it on competition day and good luck in the final. So for this year's competition we have 12 finalists. We select them through a process that we always use, i.e. a theory assessment and an interview that's done over the phone. On the day of the competition, the apprentices are asked to showcase their skills. At the completion of the day's competition, we have four judges that will be walking through the jobs and marking them according to a scale, which has been set with certain tolerances, so we need to be specific and accurate in the work that we deliver. And I would just like to thank all the competitors for being here and wish them good luck. My boss was talking about it and then he signed me up. I thought, give it a go, you know, what's there to lose? If I get in the top 12, it's an achievement. Definitely learning new stuff, meeting new people, and I don't really like being stuck in one place, sort of going what more I can learn out in the field. Give it your best when you first start off, you know, try and learn as much as you can. Ask a lot of questions and, you know, read. Watching videos and like, reading about it definitely helps out. In a few years, hopefully have my own business and then later on definitely want to be off the tools when I'm older. But yeah, definitely have my own business. Today was a lot of fun. It wasn't easy, but for the limited amount of resources and experience that we all have as apprentices, it was a good challenge. Especially for some of the blokes who predominantly work in civil or ground works, good experience to start working with copper. Whether you're in the ground or you're fitting off or you work with copper, there's just so much variety and so much potential in the industry. Winning this competition would really be the cherry on top of my apprenticeship. I've now invested in my future and then for this to just be that little bit on top, I'd be like, wow, nice, I tried my hardest. Well, my boss enrolled me to it. He said, you know, I think you got a good shot at it, give it a go. It's a good way to show that you have learnt like, every day, really. I found getting the welds really challenging. I try not to get leaks, really challenging. Making sure that everything was watertight and not leaking, yeah, it was pretty hard and it was really good to be under the pump. Getting a real taste of what it's like, you know, to work under the pump. Yeah, it's a really good test of our skills. I just really like, you know, meeting all the new people you get to meet. It's just a really good trade. Um, I just really, really like plumbing. It's just, you know, sort of something that I like to do. So yeah, it's a good job. Christopher Contracting, well, they work in tier one jobs, so doing all the big stuff in Elizabeth Key at the moment. Big apartments right now in Peppermint Grove, so it's been good working for them. Seeing all my work being done, that's probably the most enjoyable part. There's areas to improve in, but that's what the pressure is for. They just got to learn a bit and got to figure out what it's hard to do the competition. Be good in the resume and also representing my company. Completing my apprenticeship, hopefully staying with the company I'm with now. Yeah, if not, becoming a good tradesman and earning some good money. The things I enjoy about my plumbing apprenticeship is the fact that I'm outside all the time, always in the sunshine, which I've always wanted to do when, when I was young. I want to get a job where I'm out in the open. My work colleagues, they're, they're the absolute best. Like, such a good work environment. Being able to use my hands and not sit in an office all day and be in a desk chair, so I'm out using all my muscles and stuff. It's a competition at the end of the day, so you've got to be prepared for what you're up to, what you're up for. I just feel it would look really good on your resume, having it as MPA Apprentice of the Year. You know, employers would love seeing that. I wanted to be a motorbike mechanic when I grew up, and that was a lot harder to get into than I thought. So I did mechanics, and our car mechanic didn't really enjoy it, so I went and did work experience in plumbing and enjoyed the challenges it brings with it. We're also a Tier 1 company, so we do yeah, a lot of big jobs. We've done Crown Towers and Opera Stadium. Yeah, just the challenges of all the jobs we get, everything's a challenge. And, I used to do residential, so I've gone over to commercial now, and yeah. Hopefully staying with my employer at the moment. They're a really good company to work for, and great group of guys. Yeah, and if I can, hopefully work my way up to a supervisor role or something higher after I finish my apprenticeship. I came to Australia in 2015. I was working in Crown for a bit. It's a different lifestyle, and I really want to try different things. I've studied a pre-apprenticeship through MBA skills, and I loved it, so I joined. 
I haven't done much of copper this year, so I don't have much experience doing copper. It's good that I know which is my weakness, so I can improve more. My next block coming up will be more about drainage, and then water service, and then next will be gas. A bit of everything helps me make progress in my career. I more or less fell into it. I was at school, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. I found plumbing and then eventually got an apprenticeship and I've been loving it ever since. I like being outside in the elements, in ground work, drainage, working in the buildings as well, doing like stacks and copper work. I wasn't quite sure if I was going to be a finalist, but then I got the phone call to say I was and I was pretty excited. I'd mean a lot to be able to put it on my resume and say that I've that I won and be quite proud of myself. I thought maybe I could test my own sort of skills in this industry against some other people that are, you know, doing the same sort of apprenticeship as me, see how I might fare against them and see how I can also sort of benefit myself in, in a kind of skill-based manner. You sort of have to get things right because you have very limited materials, so you sort of have to get the right measurements, make sure that you're not going to miss out on any material later on. So I entered this apprenticeship thinking, look, here's something that I can provide for my family and the things that I've learned, I'm enjoying it on a personal level now. So I've sort of enjoyed that aspect, learning new things, meeting different people, and that's what I've enjoyed so far. After completing last year's competition, I loved it. Coming here was a great day, so it's good to see yourself and your skills against some of the other boys here. and test yourself a bit on some more challenging kind of work, trying to be really precise. Done a lot of sack work and plan reading at work, so I find it important to read over the plan for a long time, get your head fully around the project before starting. Probably looking forward to the stack the most, but leaving that to the end of the day because it's important to get the copper work out of the way because that's behind the stack, so we'll just see how my project looks at the end of the day, I suppose, and then go from there. Don't really have any expectations, I'll just try my best and then see how we go on the night. Uh, I work for Hall's Head Plumbing and we do a little bit of everything, which is quite good. I get to learn everything about the industry. Looking around, everyone's done a good job and had a good crack, so just trying to make sure all the measurements were correct and when the markers come along and check it, it all lines up with their sheet of paper. So I moved to Mandra to be a plumber and I'm from Wagen, bit of a drive, but I like the job, so it was worth moving there for. Oh, you may as well just go for it. Do a week work experience and have a go because I had no clue about plumbing until I moved to Manager and decided to have a go and now I love it. Every day is a little bit different, whether you're in the ground, out of the ground, there's a myriad of things that you can do and it's always really interesting and you're always learning something so it's, it doesn't really get boring and you're forever improving yourself which is always a good way to be. The boss particularly wanted me to sort of give it a crack so I thought why not jump in with the rest of the guys who are really good at the trade and, and see how I compare. You can't make it here unless you're, you're really giving it a good go so even if you don't make it through to the finals you can use that motivation for the following year to study your craft and and learn how to be a better plumber so that you can come back and compete with the rest. MPS Skills is proud to be celebrating its 30th anniversary this year, which is 30 years of a continued connection to the plumbing industry in Western Australia. We look forward to celebrating with the 12 finalists and the three winners this evening.